I'm sitting on top of the world, rolling along. I'm just rolling along, and I'm losing the blues of the world, singing a song, just singing a song. Glory, hallelujah, I just phoned the parson. Hey, pa, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm gonna fall. I'm sitting on top of the world, rolling along. I'm rolling along. I just phoned the parson, hey, pa, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I am about to fall. And I'm sitting on top of this world, rolling along. I'm rolling along. I'm sitting on top of the world, singing a song. Goldie Goldie, isn't it? Of course, the title said, Chuck performs two very old songs, or something like that. Hello there, everybody. And uh, wanted to put down a couple of tracks today for a new video. And uh, let me just say this. That last song was written in 1925, and uh, it was introduced by Al Jolson and became one of his signature songs. And, uh, of course, that particular arrangement was by Billy May for uh, Bobby Darren. Anyway, it's a fun song to sing. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, let me throw this out. This is the time of year when I start planning for my vacation to go see my children and my grandchildren, my family back in Ohio. And uh, just like last year, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But I know that uh, God wants me to go. He'll provide the means. Last year, the largest part of my trip was financed not only by my friends uh, on, um, on Facebook and in the music business, but also from the generous subscribers of my YouTube channel. So if you see the links down there, you want to contribute toward uh, Grandpa going to see the grandkids, feel free to click on the link and make a contribution um, and uh, I really really would appreciate that I went from 55 different retirement and assisted living communities that I entertained at on a regular basis before COVID to six now and uh, so it's taken a big uh, a big part of my income so if you want to contribute to what I do here on this channel uh, I would appreciate that. I'm, I really appreciate the fact that we're almost up to 5,800 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Well, here's a really, really old song. And uh, I have a trumpet around here somewhere. There it is. Uh, here's a song that um, was written in 1912. And here's an interesting bit of trivia that you might not have known. But supposedly, the very first person to ever perform this song in public uh, was a gentleman by the name of William Frawley, who we all know as Fred Mertz from uh, I Love Lucy. Uh, but um, it's a song that, I have to be honest, I avoided for most of my musical career. This year is 50, 52 years since I first got paid to perform. And... Um, I've avoided the song because uh, there were many, many running jokes about this particular song. And here's how they usually would go. You're on the, the last set of a four-hour gig, and some gentleman who's had too much to drink stumbles up to the band leader and says, Hey, hey buddy, could you, could, could you do Play My Melancholy Baby? And so just for that reason, I usually said no or said yeah, the clarinet player can do it. Uh, so I never really played the song. But uh, 
The song was good enough for Harry James. He actually recorded it twice. Once in 1941 and again in 1971. So I'm going to play a little bit of a Harry James styled uh, version of My Melancholy Baby. something like that. Anyway, now y'all could be among the first to say that you saw me play Melancholy Baby after all these years. Anyway, thanks for continuing to tune into all the music that I put on my YouTube channel, folks, and I hope you really enjoyed this today. If you enjoyed it enough uh, to encourage me to do more of these, throw a tip in the tip jar there on the links below, and I surely would appreciate it. Also, those of you who are, uh, who are praying folk. Uh, two weeks from today, I'm going in for eye surgery. And I wouldn't be so nervous, except for they're not operating on my blind eye, they're operating on my good eye. So that should be uh, interesting. So anyway, um, thanks everybody for paying attention. I hope I get to see you again soon. Thank you.